Hello, hello. Hi. Thank you. I was finishing with the other group. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I was we just was waiting for you. We were, we were, you see, we were. Uh, we were waiting. <laughs> Sorry, I had I had some difficulties at the beginning of the previous class and I had to uh I started like a couple of minutes late. So uh, that's why I was finishing with them. So I'm very sorry for the waiting. And uh, I was doing like a mini oral evaluation with them. So I had to finish with all of my students. Thank okay. you for your patience. That's why I said we will connect in a couple of seconds because I had some presentations still with the group. So welcome everybody. Welcome to your day, to your last class. We made it. Yay, we survived. You did it. Yay. It was a very nice journey. You see like, ah, this is going to be very difficult to do it. No, you see, you survived. We did a very good job. So yesterday, we started with the presentations, with the uh, conversations, presentations, and today we are going to continue with that, but along with it, we're going to do something else. We're going to present right now <clears throat> the conversations, but I need you to start thinking in a short answer about this question that I am going to send you here. Why am I learning English. I need you to think about your answer. I need you to think about your answer to this question. Why am I learning English? What is your purpose? What is your objective? What is your goal? What is your motivation? What am I learning English? Why am I learning English? I need you to think about this because we are going to use it after the conversations, okay? After the presentations, you are going to answer this question. And why? Why am I going to ask you this? Because it is necessary that when you learn a new language, you do it with a purpose, okay? Si no tenemos un propósito para estar aquí aprendiendo, no estamos haciendo nada. So you need to have a clear objective. Why are you here? Ah, because it's free. No, that is not an objective. Ah, because Insafor is very good teacher. No, what is your objective? Ay, que teacher Nati bien linda. No, that is not a purpose. What is not an objective? I know it's true, right? But nah, no, I'm kidding. Teacher, what? but it's true. I know, I know. <laughs> Humilda. <laughs> Why? Why are you here? What is the purpose of being here? Do you want a better job? Do you want more opportunities? Do you want to help your family? Do you want to improve your salary? Do you want to do better things at your office to understand, to participate? Why? Do you want to help your sister? Do you want to help your brother, your children? Right? Why are you doing it? That is the most important thing when you are learning a language. So keep it in mind. Keep it in mind because you are going to answer in a moment. Okay. Edgar, tell me. All right. Okay. I'm I'm trying to learn English because I want to travel around the world. I want to get a better job. And I've been thinking about my future children. In the, in the future, I want to my children speaking English, all of them. Okay, that is a good motivation, right? When I became a mother, I said, I know English and I want my son to speak in English. So I have been doing this for five years, speaking English to him, right? And we speak English with him. And in sometimes we are in a restaurant or in some place and he says, mom, in English. And I say, okay. And then we switch to English. Okay, it sounds perfect. So it's a good motivation. Do it for your children to do it in the future as well. And who is going to teach them? Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Edgar, you are going to be the teacher there. Thank okay. you. That's a very good, that's a very good answer. Jenny? Hi, good evening. Hi. Good evening. I'm studying English because 
Um, I'm trying to um, teach English to my son. My son is uh, three and a half uh, years old. Um, he is next to me. Oh, yeah. good. So, uh, uh -huh. uh, my baby said, Mom, please, I want to hear your picture. <laughs> That's so nice. Hello, he's right there. <laughs> right behind you okay that's a very good motivation jenny very good motivation and he learns a lot because as children are not afraid to fail they are not afraid of anything so they they do it because they they really love to learn and everything is new so you are in the best moment to teach him thank you jenny good motivation miguel go ahead Hello, teacher. Uh, Hi. In my, in my case, uh, why I'm a learner English, uh, is motivation for me uh, uh, because uh, I want a better job opportunity. And uh, the idea of learning another uh, language excites me. Okay, it, it excites you. It makes you feel motivated. It makes you feel motivated because that is going to help you in your life. Thank you, Miguel. Yes, yes. It is a it's very a good motivation. motivation it is a very good motivation. Yeah. Be curious, read a lot, practice, get vocabulary, and for sure, your dream is going to be bigger. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miguel. Alejandra, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Um, I am learning English because my son is in a bilingual school and he's uh, constantly learning English and he, he always came to the house and with a new word word and and <laughs> and he he has a good pronunciation he corrects me I don't know <laughs> good huh? he corrects me uh -huh. that's good uh, and and uh, for first, that's why I uh, I am learning English. And <laughs> and second, I want to learn English for uh, better job opportunities. Okay, for better job opportunities. You are improving a lot, Alejandra. I like your pronunciation. I like your style of English. It is nice. I mean, you are doing good. And if, you're, if your song is motivating you to learn, you have to give him two new words every day. Okay? Si él te da una palabra nueva todos los días, vos dale dos, dale tres. So for, for you to challenge yourself and him. And not yes. only the word, a sentence. Okay? Ya no solo una palabra, ahora una oración. Ahora un párrafo. <laughs> so for you to challenge yourself to learn more. Thank you very much. It was a very good answer. Edson, Thank you. go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, uh, classmates. Okay. Uh, well, my uh, uh, objective or motivation of learning English is to be able to have a better job and earn extra Come, and um, my motivation is my family and personally to be the best to always keep learning and teach people who don't have the resource to learn in the, the future. What a beautiful purpose, right? To teach others who don't have the purpose. Yes. You don't have the opportunity. I yes. really like that goal. It's, imp right? it's important for me uh, because uh, uh, I don't. I don't have people with no. How do you say? How do you say? Bueno, no, I don't have the resources. Resource. But yeah, I mean, if for, you don't, uh -huh. for learning English, 
but you are doing it and that's fantastic right yeah in, in some cases you don't need a lot of money or a lot of resources you need the will exactly. Necesitas la gana. Exactly. The, the will to do it that's the only thing that you need and to teach okay. another person you only need time that's the only thing that you need many people say nati but why do you work at night and they then they ask me and they say nati por qué trabajas tan noche por qué trabajas de noche and i say because i have students who want to learn they need to learn and they are there because they want new things for their life so that motivates me to do it yes okay. actually uh, actually is very important uh, learning but uh, in support, it's, it's a, a big opportunity. It is indeed a big opportunity. So exactly. take advantage of every minute. Thank you, Edson. Good okay. answer. Thank you. Karen, go ahead. Hi. Um, Hi, Karencita. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Ya se quiere ir a Costa. Good evening. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, okay, tip or motivate, motivation uh, for my professional career and cybersecurity. All the document, documentation is English and for that English necessary. Okay, all the documents are in English. And if you are working in cyber safety, you need to be very careful, right? Ah, ¿qué va? Aceptar. <laughs> Compartir la información de los bancos. Aceptar. <laughs> so you need to be very careful on that. And you need to know, right? You need to have a very good uh, management of the language. So my recommendation, Karen, read a lot. Investigate vocabulary related to cybersecurity to cyber safety, andate al internet, hay tantas aplicaciones, tantas páginas y todo, busca el vocabulario relacionado a ciberseguridad en inglés, and then you are going to have a lot of results, but read, be curious, that's the main thing, because it's necessary for your job, it has a lot of technical English, and it's necessary for you to know, okay, thank you, teacher. my recommendation, Jancy, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Uh, I am going to read my answer, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, try, try to give me the answer. Go ahead. Okay. I have lost some good jobs because I cannot speak full English. I graduate of international relations because I cannot to speak English. However, now I teach English to child where I children. work in the children. Yeah, okay. Children, where I work in the college. That's all. Good. So, Jancy, keep learning more strategies. There are so many good resources to teach kids and that are, they are just available, right? And whenever you need help in material, practice, a class, whatever, let me know and I can help you. I teach children, teenager, adults, whatever. So let me know and I can help you. Where do you teach? Donde das clases? En uh, uh, el Colegio Santa Maria. Oh, okay. So you see. I I teach I teach uh, English class uh, to children between uh, seven and seven and fifteen years. All. Okay, so it is good that the teacher keeps preparing. And something that I always tell to my teachers, yo tengo 13 teachers en la academia, y siempre les digo, cuando usted deje de aprender, pierde el derecho de enseñar. So you need to continue preparing. You need to continue learning. So I, Yancy, have, uh -huh. I have a problem. Uh, uh, how do you say me cuesta? It is difficult. Uh, is for me it is difficult listen it's very fast uh, uh, when when i i listen 
eh, cuando escucho a los demás, es muy rápido. Y so, entonces uh -huh. me pierdo. So it, eso it, it, eso it, it, es lo más difícil para mí en el inglés. Ok. So you need to practice a lot. I am going to send you some links to practice. There, there is one good teacher on YouTube who can help you with that. Ok. So I will send you the link for you to keep practicing. Ok, Jancy, good, teacher. good job. Thank you, Jancy. And keep working on teaching these kids. Jesus, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, teacher. Good, good evening. Afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Sorry, good evening. Good evening. Karencita <laughs> is good night and you are good afternoon. <laughs> Who's going to be good morning? <laughs> yeah, teacher. Go ahead, Jesus. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to answer the question why am I learning English? Um, I think, teacher, I have at least uh, five reasons uh, because I want to learn English very well. Um, but only um, I'm going to tell you uh, uh, three, three reasons. Okay. And, uh, and the first, um, I think, teacher, um, Brian is necessary uh, to be uh, active. Uh, this, this is the this, uh, 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 reason very important. Uh, the second, the, the second reason is uh, because um, uh, I have um, um, uh, I want to, to work in a call center in the future. Um, I think if, uh, um, uh, I think that, uh, that English is very necessary, it's important uh, to, to speak very well. Um, and, uh, and the last reason teacher is uh, because I have an um, immigration process in the United States, and I have my brother in, right there. And that process uh, already have uh, 11 years, and I think it's very near my my resident. My resident is it's near. I feel that teacher. <laughs> and okay, <laughs> so uh, that's the reason uh, why I am learning English, teacher. Very good. Uh, very good reason. Jesus, mm -hmm. if you are doing it, if you have the passion to do it, and if you have the courage to be waiting and practicing, continue with that good effort. Thank you, teacher. Because it is going to be very useful. So when you get there to the United States, don't forget about us, okay? Ahí nos manda un un dulce. But uh, your purpose is good because when you get there, you are going to have better chances to have a job, better chances to communicate, better chances to actually feel comfortable in a new country. So, Jesus, don't stop. Continue learning. Thank, Thank you, you for your chair. answer. Mr. Jose Fernando, go ahead. Hello, hello. Hi. Um, why am I learning English? Uh, well, because I will have more job opportunities and it's something I went to learn sign. I was like, and because every every day what motivates me to learn is my family. And thank you for the opportunity and you give us an English operative. Okay, thank you very much, Jose Fernando. If your family always motivates you to do this, the best thing that you can do is to do your best effort, right? That is the best that you can do. Thank you, Jose. Very good answer. Joanna, go ahead. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Um, I'm learning English. Uh, the first, my motivation is my family. I want to give them a better lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, my objective is learning very well English for I get a better opportunity, a better job, 
uh, maybe I will travel another country. Okay, you will travel to another country, for sure. Better job opportunities and a better lifestyle. Those words are the key here. If you have a, a goal in mind, go and pursue it. Very good. Thank you, Joanna. Nidia, go ahead. Yes. I have a problem. Ah, I go have ahead. A problem. What happened? Yes. <laughs> eh, este, como le dijera. Mm, <laughs> my problem is when I'm, uh, uh, sometimes I have the ideas in my mind when I talk. Eh, me trago toda. Ahí ya no. You see? I'm but, nervous. Okay. Curious. Curious thing. You gave me a complete answer before and you were not nervous, right? Me acabas de dar la respuesta I, completa. <laughs> I, I have the same problem, teacher. But the problem is that when you start listening to the crazy one who lives here, it, there's when you get nervous, right? Yo siempre yes. le digo, no dejen salir a la loca de aquí arriba. <laughs> Teacher, I, I have the same pro problem, teacher. I have yeah. a, a, a lot of ideas in my head, but when I want to talk, ideas disappear, suddenly disappear. <laughs> good, a good thing. And and someone makes fun of this. Yo creo que alguien se reía de esto hoy en la tarde. Write down your ideas. Organize your ideas, right? Organize yes. them on paper. Write them down, okay? Yes. About any topic. Agarren un tema cualquiera. Pon ahí las pupusas. Ah, pupusas are a very delicious dish from El Salvador. And then start writing. That is going to help you to organize your ideas better. And important thing, don't let the crazy one go out. Si dejan salir aquí a la que vive aquí arriba y le dice, es que te vas a equivocar, no vas a poder, te vas a trabar. Ah, mira, Edgar habla más bonito, Ever habla más bonito. No, la Jenny habla bien bonito, vos no. So, don't mm -hmm. listen to these boys. Organize mm -hmm. your ideas practice, read a lot, uh, investigate, get vocabulary, okay? Yes, and don't sure. compare Thank yourself you. with another person. Don't compare Thank your you. learning with another person. No, dicen, no, es que Edgar bien buzo, no, es que él puede, yo no. No, es que Ever super, super buzo, yo no puedo. Don't compare with another person because every single student has a progress, okay? And that's Thank your progress. You. Continue working on that. Thank you, Joanna. Nidia, go ahead. Uh, good evening. Hi. And, and my proposal for learning English is a uh, like a show. And to make it como trabajar, eh, bueno, eh, no sé, de trabajar en inglés. To work. Una uh -huh. compañía americana. The company americana. Uh, and helping uh, my brothers and uh, uh, two brothers and my sister and my brothers uh, in some English, full English. Uh, 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 como, o sea, no que 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 to have yes, better uh -huh. job opportunities with an American company. Yes, and I uh, have an American company and job. And in my talking, my brother, they speak, they speak English uh, with, with they or with them. Uh, with them. And what I like is like to have to have La conversación de ver así fluida es lo que me cuesta mucho. Okay, important. No, important thing. If you say that conversations are difficult, don't switch to Spanish, right? What is the easiest thing? I don't know, I don't understand. No, Spanish. No, try to continue in English. Force yourself to do it in English. Ay, no, es que no me va a entender, le voy a hablar en español. No, they can do it. Do it in English. Don't switch to Spanish because that's one problem. So try to do it in English, even if it is difficult, right? But try, try Nidia. Thank you. Ever, go ahead. Hello, good evening, buddy. Hi. Yes, um, I think my, my objective is for learning English is because I want to, to talk very good English. 
for move to another country, uh, maybe to Canada, to USA or to New Zealand, I think. And I know and, and that I have a lot of things to improve. Right now I'm trying to improve my listening. So if you teacher have some advice to improve my listening, I will really appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I have I have I that, have good I have good pieces of advice to improve your listening uh, to practice reading comprehension and to listen at the same time that's good and also to watch videos but also if you say no but I, I watch it with subtitles yeah but in English investigate vocabulary and I will send you one link of one teacher of YouTube that practices the shadowing so it's a lot of repetition it will help you okay so, okay. Thank you, Ever. Very good job. Sandra, Thanks, go ahead. Ever. Good evening, teacher. Hi. That's me. Um, why am I learning English? Well, I'm a teacher. And my goal is improve my work, learn to help my students, and motivate them. To motivate them. What, what grades do you teach? It's... Mm, basic 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 uh, oh. and fifth fifth grade okay so you are the teacher you have to be the example of motivation if you keep working if you keep learning you can transmit that to your students thank you sandrita very good answer jose thank daniel you. go ahead Go ahead. Then Good Cesar. Evening, hello. Go ahead. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Uh, why I am learning English? Um, it is very important in my core. And there are so many opportunities to lead the country for training in the cause. I don't speak English. I have missed it living in your country many times and my son has to study English and English help him with, with homework. Okay, to help him with homework. Daniel home said something important. I have missed many opportunities. He perdido muchas oportunidades because I don't oh. speak English. So, motivation. Sobre todo de capacitaciones fuera del país. So, Jose Daniel. No more Spanish. No, no, no. Only in English. <laughs> good. So, Daniel, very good motivation. You have to work on that. Hey, Cesarito, he disappeared. Cecilia, thank you, Jose Daniel, for your answer. Okay, teacher. Good evening, Hi. everyone. Um, well, uh, my goal is um, to get a better job. I want to speak fluently. And I want to be I want to be available to help to whoever need a, a translator or something like that. Okay, so to speak English fluently, definitely. It is yes. really necessary. Yeah. Thank you, Ceci. Continue working on that one. But you have improved a lot. That's something that I have to say. Thank you. Isabo, go ahead. Thank you, Ceci. Isabo, then Elvira, and then Reina. Isabo. Um, good evening. And my object is uh, I am good at doctor. I learning very good English because I I have a building of ho or hospital. And sometimes um, I I have a afraid. I am afraid. Uh, I am afraid or fear, uh, because I I fear talk English. <laughs> no, that's that the first is. thing. That's the first thing that you have to to avoid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Por eso los niños aprenden tan rápido. Porque nada les da pena. Nada les asusta. So they say like, ah, let's practice, let's do it, and whatever. That's why Americans learn Spanish so well. 
they don't care. They don't care. They just speak. So Isabel, don't feel afraid of speaking. Do it. Yes. yes. Don't feel afraid and don't switch to Spanish. Try to do it in English. It is necessary and it is important. You are starting to be a doctor, right? Yes. So it is going to be necessary. Imagine there are many opportunities here in the country or outside the country for good doctors who speak English. So keep practicing, okay? Así como le decía Karen, así como le decía Karen, el lenguaje técnico, busquen información, lenguaje técnico acerca de la medicina. Investigate that, okay? Thank you very okay. much. Elvira, go ahead. Elvira, Elvira Lorena. Reinita. Reinita Elizabeth. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hi. Um, my answer, uh, if I question why I am learning English is uh, um, I like English. Um, ¿Cómo se dice siempre? <laughs> I, <Always>. I have always. <laughs> I just, I like English, um, but I didn't have the opportunity to learn it. Um, but um, to time, war, my family, but I would love to speak is very well. Um, I learned it from the first time my English teacher, uh, presentation in, in at the school. <laughs> Um, I speak perfectly. <laughs> okay. Um, I love always um, want to speak. Uh, you say, I, I have always wanted, I have um, always wanted to speak English. Um, I have always wanted to speak English. There you go. It is important to me because I like English. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. so, uh -huh. Reina, just keep keep on the good job, keep on the good practice, because if you <laughs> like it, if you have always liked it, if you, I mean, love it since the first moment, the best mm -hmm. thing that you can do is to continue learning, okay, and to continue practicing. Read a lot, read, investigate, okay. get applications, right? Bajen apps en el teléfono, borren los juegos, borren el Candy Crush. <laughs> Y bajen aplicaciones para inglés. And listen to that. Practice, right? So, okay. uh, borren TikTok. <laughs> and get no, applications I, for it. I don't use it, TikTok. <laughs> okay, that's good. No, and, and even on TikTok, there are very good sites to learn English. Okay. Hay, hay muchos buenos, mucho buenos TikTokers para, para inglés. But don't check okay. on the funny ones. Check on the good ones. Eduardo José, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Eduardo. Uh, good evening. Hi. Classmate. Uh, well, my principal objective about learning English, I think that is find a great job because the English is uh, really important actually in the in all jobs. Yeah. And I think that I want to enjoy uh, many things about the English because always we focus in, in improving our English for our work, but we can make many friends with English. We can enjoy the, I don't know, movies, series in original uh, language. In original language. And I don't know, I think that we can learn and enjoy a lot of things that not only work. So I yeah. I try to focus in, in learn with everything that I see. Very good job. You can play video games, you can watch movies, you can make friends, you can talk to different people around the world in English. So my dear students, thank you very much for this beautiful oral evaluation that you just had. Si yo les hubiera dicho que este era un examen oral, todos hubieran paniqueado y nadie hubiera contestado. ¿Ya? Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. If I have said that before, si los hubiera dicho en la tarde, prepárense para el examen oral de hoy en la noche, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. 
you will have been nervous and, and anxious and, and yes. panicking and frustrated. That's English. This is original English. You didn't practice for the answer. You didn't practice for this, but the answer was real English, okay? It's the English that you have. It's the English that you manage, right? And you say like, teacher, I don't know how to answer. And you answer my question. Teacher, I don't know how to speak. And you spoke with me. So the only thing that you have to do is not to be afraid and show what you can do. Muestren sus habilidades, exactly as you did right now. So. Teacher, you are a great teacher. <laughs> I love you, teacher. Uh, Thank I you. want the next level to have the, to have with you the next level, teacher. God, God willing, God willing, we're going to be together in, in next modules. But that's the idea of English. That's a magic. Don't be afraid, people. Don't be afraid to do it. Teacher. And now, uh -huh, Catherine. I am missing. <laughs> ah, go ahead. Why are you learning English? Hoy sí ya lo agarró, ansiosa. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hoy sí, Catherine ya se aprigió. Yo estoy nerviosa. Hoy. No, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Let me, let me get my magic. Okay. Thing here. Go ahead. Um, I am learning English uh, to have better opportunities uh, in my profession too. And um how the work is involved is eh, necessary and important at least speaking english okay to um, okay. Uh -huh. one of my dreams or goals is traveling to several countries so when you know english it will be easier and more comfortable com Portable. comfortable 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 sorry yes and um the same like joanna i uh, think in my mind i can formulate sentences <laughs> but um to talk i i don't know uh how uh say what say what to say. That's why I say, organize your ideas on writing, right? Practice, practice a lot on writing and it is going to help you. And if you have someone to practice, do it, right? It is very common that you say, es que van a decir que estamos locos si andamos hablando en inglés. It's okay, it's okay. You are a crazy who knows English. <laughs> so the only person that is going to criticize you is the one that is not learning. Solo el que no ha tomado el valor para, para empezar a aprender lo va a criticar. Ah, mira, la Sandra se la pica hablando inglés. Ah, mira, la Joana ya anda hablando inglés. But they are not learning. They are not doing anything. So, if you can do it, practice. If you have someone to practice, do it. Okay? That's the idea. Practice makes perfection. And don't be afraid. People are going to criticize. That's okay. But the one that is advancing is you, not them. So do it. Hello, Cesar Guadalupe, we were waiting for you. We were waiting for Cesar to give the answer. Go ahead, Cesar. Vamos. Ya me quedo trabajo. Good evening. Hi, yeah. Hi. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> and my my answers. I, I am learning English for improve my professional career and I improve my English skills. Okay, to improve your professional career. Easy as that, right? Because you want to get more opportunities. My second advice, okay? Cada uno de ustedes me dijo su propósito, su meta, su, su motivo. Póngalo en un papelito. Póngalo en un papelito ahí. Better job. I want to travel. I want to do it. And put it there in the mirror. Póngalo en el espejo, en el carro, donde sea. But you need to check on your objective for you to work for that. Okay. So before we continue with something different, we are going to go with uh, the presentations. Okay. So please, the groups, get ready for the ones that were missing. And 
we're going to start, okay? And meanwhile, I'm going to look for the attendance, okay? Who's the first group that is going to present? Ever, who is your group? Uh, we already passed yesterday, teacher. It's true, Edgar, who is your group? The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen to you. Me and Edgar, teacher. Okay, Jesus and Edgar. <laughs> And also and, Alejandra. Okay. And Alexandra. Okay, Jesus, Ooh. Edgar, and Alejandra. Go ahead. Go ahead, okay. go ahead. Three, one, one, two, three. Good evening. Yeah, but, but, uh, uh, teacher, but... but yes. Uh, 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 I, I, I have a little problem with what my happened? microphone. Teacher. No, but I, I can listen to you. Don't worry. But I, I, I have a little problem to uh, give me a second, please. Okay, I will give you two. The, the Alejandra, next, are you next. ready? Alejandrita? Yes, okay. but okay. I have to run to get my, my book <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> okay, okay, go and get it, go and get it. Hurry up, I will open my, my attendance meanwhile. Voy a buscar la asistencia en todo eso, okay? If it's another, if an, if another group is ready, we can go with another one and then we come back. Okay, Elvira, tell us why, uh, why are you? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, Jesus is, it's, oh, Elvira sent in, in the chat. She's learning English because part of her work uh, sends uh, information to the US. English is very necessary and essential. My language gives me opportunities. Good, Elvira. If you work with American people, practice with them. Jesus, Edgar, and Alejandra, where are you? Okay. Good evening. Hi. Jesus and Alejandra. How was your good day? Good evening, Edgar. Uh, Hi, good evening. I am fine. Okay, I, I have a question for you. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I'm going to visit my relatives. Um, absolutely. I'm going to, to visit my parents. Sounds great, guys. What about you, Edgar? Oh, thank you for asking, Alejandra. So I, I, I think I'll visit my relatives and then I will cook a delicious meal to share with them. Cool, Edgar. I'm so glad with you. Um, will you get a, a, a lot of time with your, with your relative? Thank you so much, Mr. Benitez. So do you both are going to plan something else? Absolutely, Edgar. In my vacations, I'm going to read a book. And what about you, Raul? Yeah, I'm going to, to stay at the Cameroon for two <laughs> days, I think, and join with my family, of course. Okie dokie, Raul. You are going to have a great time right there. Hey, guys, have you seen what time it is? Yes, it's late. Okay, it's late. let's get back to the class. <laughs> okay. All right, I see you there, guys. Very, see you there. Very good, guys. Very okay, good bye. job. Yeah. <laughs> Very good job. It's like, where are you going to go? I'm going to go to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and I stay there for three days. That's pretty awesome. Okay. He has a lot of money. Yeah, he has a lot of money. Very good job. Yeah, Who's can next? you come with us, teacher? Oh, for sure. <laughs> I can, for sure. Okay, I will call the attendance in a very quick way and I will get the next group ready. Who's next? ¿Quiénes son los siguientes? Uh -huh. Me, teacher. Edson. Cesar and Nidia. Cesar and Nidia. Okay. Nidia and Cesar. Let me just hear and. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Edson. Hi, uh, Nidia. Hi. Hi, Edson. Cesar. How are you? 
I find thanks and you. I am pretty good. I'm oh, fine. Thank you for asking. Tell me, how are your English classes in English in English corporativo? Oh, that uh, that's interesting, and I learn him so much. The teacher is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good, but I'm really now. What are you going to do next weekend? Oh, in my case, let me see. On Saturday, I am get. I am going to get early to wash my clothes <laughs> and my shoes. Then I am going to clean my house. And uh, let bait my puppy. And I the in in the afternoon, I go to the to the rest and watch movies and Netflix. On Sunday, uh, I am going to get to get up late. <laughs> in the afternoon, I am going to visit my dad and my uncle, and enjoying with my with the family, with uh, coffee and sweet bread. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and Nidia? Okay. And yes, and on Saturday, uh, we'll work on the uh, 3 p.m. and at 10 in the afternoon. Um, we will uh, go to the beach um, to eat at uh, minus, minuta. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, those are, um, I don't remember the name. It's like, uh, I, I will I will find it there. I will send it to you. Don't worry, don't worry. And in next week, um, then on Sunday, I go to the short of with my family in the afternoon and rest and prepare the time for the next day. Okay. Oh, really nice. Uh, uh, Mr. Cesar, tell me. Okay, let me see. On Saturday in the morning, I am going to wake up. I'm going to wake up early to take my breakfast. Then I'm going to work until one o'clock. After that, I am going to work to work out at the gym with my bros already two hours. After that, we are going to a party. Nice. On Sunday, oh, okay. I'm going to sleep to whole day. At night, I am going to at night I am going to iron my clothes. Uh, what oh, do you okay. think? Uh, I go the, to the beach from Saturday afternoon on to Sunday. I, I can oh. go. <laughs> if he doesn't want to go, uh, I can. <laughs> oh, okay. Go. Go, friends. Okay, good. Scrape oh. eyes. I, I send it to it's you. So Scrape fun. eyes. It's minutas. Thank oh. you, my dear students. Very good Thank job you. on your presentations. Nice, nice. Let me just check here a little bit. And I am going to call the attendance, okay? If you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Alejandra Beatriz. Alejandrita. Here, teacher. Cecilia. Here, teacher. Cesar was here, but he here, teacher. Here, here. <laughs> there you go. Edgar. Edson. Present, teacher. Eduardo. Present, teacher. Elvira. Thank you. Present, teacher. Ever. Present, Isabel. teacher. Thank you. Um, Isabel. Jenny. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jenny, Jeremías, Joana, present teacher, José Daniel, present teacher, José Fernando, present teacher, Karen Stephanie, 
Present teacher. Catherine. Present. Miguel. Present. Lidia. Present teacher. Raúl. Teacher, here I am, teacher. Reina. Present teacher. Samuel. Present teacher. Sandra and Jancy. Present teacher. Thank you, Present Sandrita. Teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Let's go with the next group. Let's see. Jancy, which is your group? Uh, Karen and Jenny. Okay. I believe Jenny. Karen and Jenny. I believe that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Jancy, Karen, and Jenny, right? Okay, let me just add you here. I will move you and I will move Nidia. Good. And I am missing Karen. Okay, you can go, you can start. Hi, Karen. How was your day? Well, my day was busy. I am waiting for the weekend. Really? I'm waiting for the weekend too. And tell me, what are you doing? What are you going to do on weekend? I am going to my family. I'm going to eat to Nancy's place. Uh -huh. Hi, Dancy. <laughs> Hi. Yes, is coming. Yeah. Tell, tell us, Nancy, what are you going to do on weekend? My plan for the next weekend is it is the following. I am going to get up seven o'clock. I want to rest and stay at home because I have had two very difficult week. This is my plan for the next weekend. I need to recover energy. I am going to take advantage of the time for to organize my work because I have to do many things. What about you, Jenny? What are you going to do next weekend? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not sure about it. I think um, we'll go to the mall in order to buy uh, white shoes for my son, but I'm not sure. On Sunday, I'm going to stay at home because I have a lot of things to do. As for example, wash my clothes, clean the house, do the homework with my, uh, uh, with my son. And however, if someone invites me for a trip, of <laughs> course, I will go. Oh, look at the hour, it's too late and, um, and I have a meeting. So I'm sorry, girls. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very much, right? I have a lot of things to do. But if you want to invite me, I can do it. <laughs> I love that one. Good. Let's see. Who's next? Can see. Thank you, girls. Next. Next, next, next. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Joanna, who's your group? Sandra and Reina. Okay, good. Sandra and Reina. There you go. Action. Hi, Sandra. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Uh, tell me, what do you plan for this weekend? On the weekends, I'm going to visit my friend Sonia. She lives in Shalatenango. It's very cool. I love it. I will ride my motorcycle. And what about you? Uh, do you plan for this weekend? Well, on Sunday, I'm going to the church with my family. At uh, evening, maybe we will visit my relatives. Uh, on Saturday. On Sunday, I'm going to visit my mother. And probably we will go to the beach, the world family, because I need, I need a, I need to relax. Uh, I have a, 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 a 
I have a, a week very tired. I had a tiring week. I have a tiring week uh, because my children begin to study. Uh, I take them to school and pick them up. I tend my business. I do the housework. Oh this is God. every day. <laughs> uh, okay. The important thing is that this must help. Oh, hey, hmm. look at, look there this Reina. Let's say hello. Hi, Reina. Hello, hello Reina. How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Hi. Reina. How are you? It's nice to see you again. It's great Thank that you. you had very good plans for this weekend. After a lot of work, we should rest and relax, right? Yes. <laughs> my, <laughs> my work makes makes me very tired. I have to drive to horse every day and that is very tiring. Hi. But the weekend is coming up <laughs> and I have a plane. I am, my first plane is um, I am going to visit my parents in the city of, of Usulutan. It's a more relaxed place there. Or maybe um, I will go with my daughter and, and my husband mm. to the beach too. Um, or very like that, uh, I sleep a lot home. <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, it's a great idea. Don't you think? It is. <laughs> it's it's one of <laughs> It, <laughs> it is a very good idea. It's so a, it's a great idea. <laughs> Let's go to relax. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, so um, I relax. <laughs> okay. Let's relax. Thank you very okay. much, girls. Very nice conversation. Good job. Very good job. So very nice. Who's next? Quien no falta? Quien sigue? Uh huh. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh -huh. Who's missing? Who's missing? Quien no falta? Quien no falta? You did no. it all. <laughs> Aha. Jose Fernando, who's your group? Um, Catherine and Elvira. Catherine and Elvira. Okay, good. So I don't have camera for any of you. So go ahead. Action. I don't know if Elvira can. Yeah, Elvira can participate right now, I think. Yes. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Very well. Thank you. What about you, Katerine? Well, a little tired. But I uh, go. And you, Alvira, how was your day? Well, excellent. Thanks, guys. What's plans? Do you have for the moment plans? I'm going to stay at home. I don't have any plan for the moment. Me too. I'm going to clean and order my room. Also, maybe I will bait my dogs. And you, Elvira? I'm going to visit my grandparents in town. Nice plans. <laughs> my, uh, my grandparents, you say. I'm going to visit grandparents. my grandparents. Grandparents. So, Jose Fernando doesn't have plans, and I think he went to sleep. <laughs> and sounds great. So, I, uh... um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I love will... to go with you, Elvira. <laughs> take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> Elvira is going to take Catherine. I will go to <laughs> <laughs> Jose Fernando, <laughs> self inviting him. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. Fernando, you are going to go to visit Elvira's grandparents. 
and you are going to go there in, in downtown. So enjoy it. <laughs> Va a ir a visitar a los abuelitos de Elvira. Así yes. que ahí le llevo una semilla. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> excellent, <laughs> excellent job, my dear. <laughs> yeah, they, they were invited. They didn't know, but I will go. Take me there. Right? <laughs> well, my dear class. <laughs> I, I, I just loved it. <laughs> Have a wonderful night, my dear students. The time is over for the class. Uh, I really like this group. I really like the module. Continue working. Continue exercising a lot. And please continue improving okay have a okay. wonderful Thanks. night and there you have my number please I don't block me <laughs> yeah. okay thank you yes. thank you thank very you. much no thank thanks to you paying. thanks thank to you and thank you very thank much thank you for all thank you too much thank you thank you too much i love you a lot bye. Bye. thank you nice to meet you everyone you have my number so don't forget me <laughs> thank you I have an answer, teacher. Yeah. Uh, about the, the next uh, course, uh, are they going to start at the same time? All the levels? No, I mean, no. they are going to announce, I mean, if you did the registration, I think they are going to let you know. You have to be very pendent of the email. Estés bien pendiente del correo porque creo que ya pronto va a iniciar, así que eh, si ya hicieron todo el proceso de inscripción, so I think it's going to be very soon, okay? Do you know more or less uh, about the date? It's always like, um, they take like five more days and then they start. So it's probably going to be next week. Okay, teacher. So be pendent, be pendent of that, okay? okay Thank you, Jesus. Bye-bye. Have you a later. good night. See you later. Thank good you. Morning, Elvira, thank you very much. Thank you for your message, Elvira. May God bless you as well. Bye-bye, my dear class. Thank you.